Hey guys, it's Renee. So today we're going to be decorating a chapstick as a candy corn. You don't have to use the brand that I'm using. It's just the, the kind of chapstick or just lip balm that I prefer to use. This one is empty, by the way, just so you know. And towards the end, we're going to be filling this. For me, it's easier to work with an empty one because I can just let it open until all the paint dries. But to paint this, I'm going to be using a white nail polish because one, it's going to be easier to paint this with acrylic paint and two, because it's white, it's going to be making the colors pop a lot more. Painting this part like so and then just letting it dry. And to paint the top part, I'm going to be using this chunky like a marker. This one, I don't know, it's like a random one that I found around the house to be honest. Just search for something that is so chunky that your lid, the top of your chapstick, is going to get like stuck in there. Then once I made sure it was gonna work with this one, I just painted this part of the chapstick and then the bottom part from there I just place it and then just cover the whole thing and then I'll let it dry. Now to let it dry, this is a bit of behind the scenes with the lamps that I used to like record this, but this is just to show you uh, how I'm letting it dry. I let it dry standing up, then I'm gonna be painting this. I'm not gonna be working with like straight up yellow and orange, I am just gonna be making my yellow a bit vintagey or just a bit darker with my my khaki just mixing them using just a tiny bit of uh, khaki you don't need that much and then just paint the bottom part from the lid i'm going to be painting the bottom part just like that and now i didn't have orange because i'm not in my usual place where i film my stuff but i did have yellow and some red so i'm just going to be making an orange it's pretty easy just mix those two and then just paint the orange space now candy corns have a bit more orange than yellow and white so i'm basing myself from that for the white part i didn't want it to be like straight up white so i'm working with this of white acrylic paint i do have the diy showing you how to make this this is just to make it look a bit more vintage looking again not so like vibrant and then i gave each section or each color three or four coats and this is how i'm going to be blending where the like three colors meet those sections blending them with my brush kind of like dragging the color as i go going back and forth between each color getting my brush and nothing wet but kind of like damp to just make it easier for the color to just move where i want it to move also when i went back with my previous color just clean the excess of color and then just with whatever was left on the brush i just went and did the blending if that makes sense but hopefully watching what i'm doing uh, explains more than me trying to explain what i'm doing and also i wanted to say so sorry i haven't been posting a lot or anything really my last diy was a the beginning of august i think and something towards the end of se uh, september and then just now reason being is because again i'm not in my usual like place and their home is actually really nice and cozy but it's not bright at all so it's really hard and tricky to just find lighting anywhere and so i'm just like you know recording where i can when i can where i find good lighting making like tricks to just have a brighter background and all that stuff so it's really tricky to just find lighting to film anything at all that will look good just to film content because i love doing this and some of you really like my content and i really appreciate it i just want to say thank you so much for your support and so sorry for taking this long but back to this one i'm going to be adding some gloss the one that i'm using is by sculpey and just adding two to three coats with a brush just until it's like nice and shiny now i'm going to be placing my actual chapstick so i can actually use this removing it from like the previous one that is not halloween and then just placing it back in and this is pretty much it guys I just wanted to say hi and uh, I just wanted to share this idea with you. This is something cutesy and like festive that I want to share with you and say that I miss you. Hopefully you liked it and find this helpful, entertaining or relaxing. And if you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Check out other DIYs that I've done. Subscribe for more and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.